now I'm talking about the Grammarly author sheet. Uh, this one is the new features. Okay, I want to share with you. You see, uh, I already put all the content inside here. Uh. I have a function is called this one. Track writing activity. Uh. Okay. Okay, so see the report. Uh. Oh, just now I have to turn on first. I have to turn on first. I have to turn on first. Ah. Uh. Loading the writing activity. This is called Grammarly author sheet. Okay. Okay. Uh, improve content, GPT content. So type by a human, copy from a sources, origin unknown, copy from an unknown source, untracked text because I have not edit yet. Just now I forgot to click. <laughs> okay, so I try one more time. Huh? Okay, so let's say uh, I go here. Okay, I go to use uh, Grammarly to improve it. If you always use the Google Doc, you can incorporate it with this. Okay, so I make it rewrite for a general audience. Okay, then insert it. Okay, you see, uh, what we have, what you have done, right? Okay, what you have done, you go to see this authorship later on. Uh, okay, I click it, close it. Okay, go to click this one. I can go to see the report. Hmm, they will track for you. They will track for you. See, copy from a sources, AI generated. See, AI generated. Uh, the origin content is uh, the 93%. Uh, but this one actually is just they will start to do the tracking after you open it. Uh, if not, they cannot do for you. This is called granularly authorship. Okay, they actually also call it as an AI detection. Uh. They are still in the beta features. Soon they will launch in a Grammarly for Windows, Grammarly for Mac. Now it only can be used in Google Doc. Okay, now it's only can be used in Google Doc. Uh, so you also can use this one to help you to through our writing. You also check is it how many percent is tracked by the AI, AI generated. Okay, so in this moment, then maybe when you're doing the writing, you can avoid it. Uh, so you can use this one Google Doc to help you use uh, when you're doing the writing section. Okay, so this is called Grammarly Authorship. You see, uh, I try to write myself this one. I try to write myself, huh? Okay, for VR, okay, for VR and AR, it is a very interesting topic, okay, among, among, the, among the younger generation. Because they like to explore new technology in language learning. Okay, see this is what I write. Huh? Okay, now I go to the see the report. You go to see the report, huh? Okay. See? Ah, that by a human. See? They already updated. This is not my me. But I want to share tell you one thing. If I go to edit this one, I go to click this one, and then I say I change it. I change it. Uh rewrite for an ESL writer. I insert it. Okay now. I go here. Okay, I go click again. Huh? You see, huh? see the report. Okay, you see, see the report. Okay, what is the outcome? Okay, so now the type by human previously is 4%. Type by human rephrase with Grammarly AI. See, rephrase with Grammarly AI. It's no more type by a human, it's already rephrased with Grammarly AI. So you see the, the outcome. Ah, so if you type yourself, you ask the, the Grammarly or ChatGPT or everything that you type. Okay, now I copy this one. Ah. I try one more and another round. Ah. You see this one? I copy this one. I go to here. Okay. Improve this for me. Okay. I change again. Ah. Uh, 
Okay, improve version. Copy this. I put here. Okay, I put here. Huh? Okay, paste. And then I go to click again. See report. Okay. okay, this one refers with AI. Is it AI generated? Where well, we check 26 word AI generated? Ah, AI generated 5% type by human is already there, but copy from a source AI generated is 12%. See, so the radio is already here. So, this is why I say if you use a change UT to help you to prove it, everything can be detected already. Okay. Uh, so you don't have the turn it in you can try to use this one also if we're doing a writing so i want to share share with you about this grammarly authorship grammar. yeah. 